Good morning from Craft South in Nashville. It is a sunny day and a really good time to share the next collection by Monica Forsberg, um, one of my conservatory craft contributors. Um, Monica, as you know, has such a playful, beautiful spirit and artistic talent to go with that. And we decided to dive really deeply into um, her talents as a storyteller and illustrator and do something a little bit more on the juvenile side, but definitely still playful, um, wonderful for cat lovers. But there's so much more to this cat line than just kittens. Um, but we had a lot of fun with titling it too and um, the name of the collection as well as all the prints. It's called Just Kitten Around. And before I dive into the prints with you, I wanna show you what they made. And that is this quilt up here. And this is called the Just Kitten Around Quilt. And as you know, this is a free PDF um, for you to sell to your customers if you buy the whole collection. And we have pretty abbreviated collections in Conservatory Craft. There's not a ton of pieces to bring in. So we really try to make um, art and fabric prints that give you a lot of mileage and variety. Um, the center focus of this collection and of the quilt is this beautiful panel piece um, that's called Perfect Day. And I'll show it to you a little bit more closely here, but I just absolutely love all the fun little faces and the birds and the cars and all sorts of things going on. Um, so it's a very simple sew. Um, this is actually part of the print work of the panel, this little um, sort of hand-drawn quilt block right here. And I decided in designing this quilt to mimic that by actually doing patchwork that was inspired by Monica's um, clever little geometrics there. So let's dive into the collection. Um, I'll start first by showing you the cute little portraits, these little kitty cat portraits. Um, we have a really bright blue, playful background and orange and teal and pink. They're just about a, over an inch in size, each little kitty cat head, um, which is really fun for fussy cutting. And then we have a bigger scale too just in case someone really loves the kitten portraits. Um, and just on a nice cream background. We didn't dive too deeply into doing boy colors and girl colors. We just did beautiful colors and playful colors. And we think that everything here suits every child if you're doing a special sew. But again, it's not just all cats. We did lots of coordinates that even if you pulled some of these coordinates out into other collections, you would never know that they came from a kitten line. Um, this is one of my absolute favorites. It's just a really beautiful um, geometric, really, but like a fine line. We call it fee lines because we're clever. And um, I loved it so much, and I thought it was suitable for so many different um, applications that we did three different colors. I love this. I think we called this um, colorway guava. It was just really pretty interesting coral and purple and army green and sort of a really rich, limey, minty color. And then this one, which I think is so cool. But yeah, that, that picks up on some of the deeper, darker tones so that you can have some punctuation in your quilts. Um, because you know it's great to have the bright light colors and they're cheerful, but we need something to sort of accent and punctuate so that you can actually see all those patchwork lines when you're designing a quilt. And let's stay in the animal kingdom, but move over to some birds. And because this collection is kind of all about cats and idea and um, somewhat in art, we decided to call this High Hopes because we imagine kittens looking from the ground up to the sky to plan their next meal. And we even have, I don't know if Elizabeth got really close in here, we even have, look at these little tiny birds. Look at these little tiny birds hitching a ride on the goose. And there's this really pale um, little line drawing here. And you'll see some of these guys show up in other parts of the collection, which I think is really, great in terms of telling the story, most of the little characters that show up are gonna be found in the um, panel and in other prints. So that makes it really fun. Fun while you're sewing and also fun for whatever person you might be making it to entertain. So some of us are in the rat race. These guys are in the cat race. Look at how cute. We have some on bicycles and they're, they look like they're swimming upstream against the birds or with the birds. Just so, so fun. A beautiful opportunity to cut out um, a favorite kitten and applique somewhere. Really sweet. So we have that on kind of a pale blushy pink, but 
have those blacks in there too. So again, it sort of gives you a hint um, as a quilter of what sort of coordinates to choose to go with it, whether solids or some of our deeper geometrics. And then I love the background color on this. I'm a really big fan of those pussy army baby poop, for lack of a better description, colors. Um, maybe that's appropriate if this is a juvenile line. Good for the nursery. Here's a good baby poop background. So, you know, it'll mitigate some of those stains. Um, I'm gonna save the panel for last. Let's go back over here and look at smaller coordinates. Um, speaking of meal planning for the cats, we have what we call lunch. And this is just a really cute, simple, kind of a stylized dot, bubbles, fish, really, really fun. Um, and a nice deep one too. This scale is just a little bit smaller. And again, it really just helps increase the variety in your patchwork. Um, we've been doing that a lot with the conservatory lines and a little bit in my core collections too, where we're doing the same print and giving you another colorway, but we're um, adjusting the scale just a little bit. And it really does make a difference when it comes to putting together your patchwork and increasing the variety. And this is Pussy Willow, another little ode to the kitty cat, but really beautiful Monica florals. We couldn't do a Monica collection without florals, even if we are going a little bit more juvenile. But um, we imagine kittens creeping around the Pussy Willow down by the pond. And here's a beautiful jade green one with some pretty blues and deep eggplant purples. But I love that gray because it is a, it's a beautiful, um, it's a very blue gray and it picks up on some of these kitten portraits as well. Okay, so now something I'm so, so excited about is the panel. The panel, I believe, do you remember, is it 24 inches, mm -hmm. Elizabeth? Yeah, okay, so the panel measures top to bottom, 24 inches, and within that, we have some kind of border features um, of that geometric, as well as the side stripes on the um, selvage edges. But you can see that it is just such a fun scene. You'll recognize all the characters from other parts of the prints. There's um, a parent and a child, kitten, walking around and having a good day. So, so cute. Um, birds, parrots, geese, houses, water, stars, and the full width of fabric gives you two of those squares. And it also gives you a full run of stripes on each side um, so that you can use that for border. Um, you can see that we've used the full inner square there and then in other parts of the quilt and strips, I just used the, um, that geometric there and then we accented with those stripes here and here. So really fun ways to use the fabric. And again, all the fine lines in there sort of echoes um, the feline print. And if you're not in the mood for a border or don't necessarily want to, um, I felt like this border or this panel design rather, it really felt like a full repeat scene. So I just, just in case you didn't have ideas for a square or you didn't wanna to have to worry about that confine, um, I decided to do it as running yardage too. So Monica created a repeat for us that carries um, that whole perfect day out scene um, out to the left and the right um, and repeat and up and down so it's continuous. This isn't 24 inches or anything. Um, the repeat size is probably that, but it's not a panel in other words, but it has that kind of darker gray back tone which um, is sort of echoed throughout the collection. So I hope you absolutely love this as much as I do. Um, just be sure to ask your reps to see all the samples and have a look at the quilt. Um, I think it's a fantastic and very worthy to be made into a store sample, and it says that pretty quickly. Um, Cindy Luby made this one. She's incredibly talented, and um, I'm nice talking Michelle in our shop into making one too <laughs> because she's so talented, and I really want to have a sample in the shop. Um, so that is just kitten around, and don't be kitten around waiting to order it because you need to get your orders in so that you can have something to look forward to from Monica. Take care. See you again soon.